I was at work, just a normal day, I'm sitting at my desk, and my urologist called. This was after they went in with the scope and, and took a look. And I, I took out like a, a notepad and I started writing down low grade cancer. Cancer, me, I, I have cancer. It was like, I can't tell you how many times the words just flashed in my mind. I'm Angela Pelche. I live in Niverville, Manitoba, and I'm a bladder cancer survivor. The first symptom I had was blood in my urine. More than just a little bit of blood, it was actual clots. After my first cystoscopy, it came back that I had bladder cancer. So the next thing that was planned was a TURBT. So they go in and they remove the bladder tumor. When they went in this time in January, there was a little bit more there. It came back high grade, more of aggressive. I had six rounds of BCG. They went back in, more cancer was there and it became muscle invasive. So my urologist called me and said, we, we can't keep doing this now. If it gets out of the muscle, your bladder cancer can travel anywhere. He said, the bladder has to come out. And oh, I was so mad. I knew the next option was having a urostomy. And I just knew it was gonna be a difficult part for me. Even just thinking of body image, I remember saying to my urologist, things change now. And he said, you know that bag is on your side because you didn't wanna die from bladder cancer. And it was like, it just rang in me. It was like, right, okay. I didn't wanna die with bladder cancer. So, okay, this is, this is how it is. At that point, we needed to do 12 weeks of chemotherapy before the bladder could be removed. And then May of 2021, that's when I went in for my radical cystectomy. They removed my uterus, my cervix, my urethra, lymph nodes, my fallopian tubes. After that was all done, the urologist came back to me confident that he got it all and there's no evidence of disease. I think since the beginning, I knew I was going to beat it. For me, it was almost like it was practical. Like, okay, well, what's the next appointment? Which is the next surgery? I'm not saying it's not gonna be hard, and I've cried many tears along the way, but I just feel like I can get through whatever life throws at me. I had a really good team of doctors, like all the way from my physicians who moved quickly. They helped me medically retire. And then when it came to my urologist, I knew what was going to happen. I felt very confident. I was not worried about surgeries or the treatments. I trusted him. It is hard. People, I want them to appreciate how much they're going through or how difficult it is that they're taking each day to fight it. I want them to know as well that there are people out there that can help. I'm a part of a support group with Bladder Cancer Canada. Such an amazing, amazing group. I love these ladies. And I, I know that we are helping other women. So to find a community that is going through the same things that you are going through is wonderful.